from St. John's Lutheran Church. I'm coming to you from my basement again as I quarantine from the coronavirus. Yesterday was a tough day. I had a fever most of the day. It was low, but it was persistent, and my cough was bad, and my energy is low. My appetite is not there. <clears throat> Thank you, though, for the three cheesecakes that I received. When I get my appetite back, I can't wait to eat all of that cheesecake. Uh, bless you for those who have given me cards and well wishes. I'm doing okay. To, yesterday I found out that a friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine, Dan Paxton of Kiwani, Illinois, died unexpectedly and suddenly. He leaves behind two children and grandchildren and brothers and sisters and plenty of friends. Uh, Dan was a childhood friend and I remember him most because we swam together on the Kiwani boys swim team. But the most important event that Dan impacted my life was when my mother died and I was just 10 years old. Dan and I were close friends back then and I remember sitting on my front stoop <clears throat> and Dan showing up. His father drove him out to my house he got out of the car and he came over and just gave me a huge hug. Now, boys don't hug back in Kiwani, Illinois in 1968, but he hugged me and then he gave me a gift, told me that it would be okay and that I wasn't alone. As he walked away, I opened the gift and there was a statue of Mary, mother of Jesus. I kept that statue on my bedside for many, many, many years. Unfortunately, I don't know where it is now. I looked for it yesterday, but can't find it. <clears throat> so the lesson here is one, those who go before us, we should grieve but have hope. Know that they are in the Lord. In Revelations chapter 14, verse 13, it says this very specifically. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says this spirit, they will rest from their labor for their deeds will follow them. Dan, who was a child of God, who was a Christian, lived a good life. He was an unexceptional man that didn't get a lot of attention except for, for those who knew him for he was solid and kind and considerate and compassionate. And his life is a reminder to all of us that we don't have to do great deeds to change the world, but we just have to do small things that change other people greatly. And that's who Dan was, a carpenter, a father, a grandfather, a friend, a brother in Christ. And so do not be discouraged. Recognize that those who go before us go before us to prepare the way for us when we too leave this world and go to the next, to our eternal rest with Jesus Christ. I just want to say to Dan's family, we are praying for you. We hold you in our hearts as we remember our classmate, our friend, our brother in Christ, Dan Paxton. For his family grieves today, but they have hope, for they know where he is. For those of you who have close friends that you've lost contact with, I urge you, give them a call, write them a letter, seek them out on social media. Don't let old friendships wither and fade, because it's a great loss. I realize the loss that I have as we've lost contact for so many years. So bless you, Dan. Thank you for the life you lived. I'm sorry we weren't connected more in these last years. May God bless all of us and remind us to live our lives in righteousness and in faith. Be blessed today.